Hey, so super excited to be here with Ruth Vasquez, and she is a brand new uh, excited member of the Braver Together Mastermind. So, and Ruth, Ruth lives now in New Mexico, but we just realized that we've known each other for 15 years. So Ruth, tell our, tell the people listening a little bit about how you and I met um, and then how you kind of came back into like the Diane experience a couple months ago. <laughs> Let's just start with that. Okay. Well, I, I met Diane through um, Katie Brazelton's Life Purpose Coaching Training. Uh, I think we either met in Hawaii or in uh, California, one of those trainings a very long time ago. Um, we briefly talked, we briefly shared uh, our stories, but, um, you know, and and we moved on with our own separate lives. I I read a lot about uh, the different programs that you were offering and life has gone on. My husband and I are ministers and from our training, we decided to open up our life purpose coaching centers uh, business and basically use those services to work with our church and work parishioners there. Uh, fast forward uh, many years later, um, and after several different experiences in pastoring, uh, we were called to New Mexico to pastor a church. And so Sam and I came, not really knowing everything, uh, what to expect, uh, coming from New Jersey to New Mexico, very different. Um, but then we uh, landed here and a few months prior had decided, let's rebrand our company. Let's make it a little bit different. I have time to really devote to the business and realize I needed some help. I needed some tools to get my um, to, to bring our vision forth and to make it happen. And so I searched and looked for someone and every coach knows they need another coach. They need someone to guide them. So I reconnected with Diane. She was offering a boxer and uh, we connected that way. It was very convenient. And from that, I moved on to a mini mind, a couple of the accelerator program and decided, you know, I really love the value that Diane brings to the table. Uh, she helps me um, critique my own work, uh, have new insight and see the possibilities where, um, you know, often we try to do it all ourselves, mm -hmm. uh, but become very self-sufficient, but it, it ends there. And when you have a fresh set of eyes coming in and saying, you know, did you ever consider X, Y, and Z? It just opens up a whole new world. And the beauty of joining the mastermind, I just freshly joined, but it, it, I've already gotten to know a lot of the women in the mastermind group. So I'm not just getting Diane, I'm getting a whole team of women, like-minded women, different backgrounds, uh, different interests, but we all have a common goal of, you know, we can work together. We can help each other and, and not compete against each other, but build each other up. I love that. A whole team of women. <laughs> yeah, and that's really what it is. And, you know, my job in, uh, with the mastermind is bringing in different personalities and different uh, backgrounds for the give and the take. And you and your husband have such a wealth of knowledge that you bring to the mastermind from being in ministry together mm -hmm. and having a business together and serving, uh, you know, in basically a couple different capacities with your gifts, talents and abilities uh, and yeah, the, the, what I love so much about masterminding is that we don't have to know all the answers. Someone else in there has so much wisdom, uh, that we don't have, or we can all go do some research and guess what? Even if we all did research, we'd come up with different information. So it just, um, I just like to think of masterminding multiplies are, which is, you know, the power of that, you know, wherever two or more are gathered, um, we have, you know, God in our, in our midst. And so you just recently took the leap and, uh, I know you're terrified a little bit, <laughs> a lot. <laughs> so let's lean into, sometimes we think we're not ready. So, and, and that's one of the main myths I, I work on with women 
I don't think I've been ready for anything my whole life. And yet I've built a business and um, a practice. So how have you learned to step in even when you aren't fully ready to have a, um, to learn, to grow, to kind of just give yourself that little push out the door? Well, um, that, that's a great question. Uh, I think it's something that I've, I've struggled with and I've seen many people in, in business struggle. How do I go and put something out if it's not ready? If the package is not ready. It's not perfect. Um, and we tend to overthink. And I realize that all that overthinking and all that planning, when, whereas it can be great at times, it became like, like paralysis, like mental paralysis. I couldn't move forward. And so that's where um, just j jumping in and it's okay to make mistakes and forgive and love yourself a lot <laughs> when you make those mistakes. But even in making those mistakes, I found, um, you know, I've uncovered a, another area. I, I, I uncovered a possibility. Mm. So in, in being okay with saying, you know, I'm not ready, uh, makes me curious, makes me want to question, makes me want to explore. And if I can go in with that mindset of it's okay to make mistakes, then I'll try something new. I'll try something off the wall <laughs> and discover, hey, this might very well be the avenue I need to take to have a successful business. Yeah, yeah. Curiosity is the key, isn't it? And, and reframing my mind to, okay, what could, how can this? Not like what's, you know, the worst case scenario, right? It's like, how can this work or what could be possible for me or what do I really want to create? And as you were talking, Ruth, I got this image in our mind uh, that planning is a prison. Ooh, like, you know, the over planning, the over planning, like I'm just building this little prison because I'm overthinking and I'm, I'm, uh, you know, I, I never get anything out to market because it's never perfect because it never will be right um so just this pr planning prison that we can put ourselves in and really just realizing we can walk out the door into possibilities absolutely um i think that's uh even in when we coach uh relationships and couples and they come across a problem we take time to sit down and brainstorm all the possible possibilities all the possible scenarios and and it's through that brainstorming that testing and trying that we come up with solutions so um yes we don't have the answers over planning can kill <laughs> it can kill your train of thought and um but in taking leaps of faith and saying well let me try this let me try that if it doesn't work then it means it at least i tried it now i know i'm wiser now because i tried something it didn't work let me move on to the next thing. And hopefully I can get closer and closer to what will work. Mm -hmm. Well, and a lot of times for what I've learned is uh, sometimes it's just timing. It's like, it, and that's the power of the mastermind too. There's a time, uh, you know, there's, there's timing when things uh, won't work mainly because we're not ready. Mm -hmm. Or we actually never really promoted it very much <laughs> if we got real honest. Exactly. And, and that it doesn't go away forever. It might just need to go off to the side table for a little while until we know more or we have more experience and then we can bring it back out uh, to, you know, to trust that God has the right timing for everything. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, I've seen him take um, so many different scenarios that I've got and I've shared a lot with you. Um, we had a season where we had to step down from ministry to take care of our son during mm -hmm. his years. We had a season where we had to pause to take care of my mom because that was the season we needed to take. So there were lots of uh, uh, scenarios that caused us to stop and pause. But even going through those different uh, situations, they helped us gain a greater compassion for other people, compassion for ch ch people, families who have, uh, who are struggling with their children, compassion for people who have to take care of their parents. Just, it, it helped us become, uh, build our character, if you want, our, our, our character muscle, if you want to call it that, so that when we approach other couples, we can really connect and identify. So I, I know God doesn't waste a hurt. Yeah. 
works uh, work all, brings all things to work for the for the good of his honor and glory and i know that he he has done that with us that it's taken this long he's brought me to new mexico it's okay <laughs> i'm i'm grateful uh, I, I i retired from teaching so i have the opportunity and the time now to really delve in uh, i don't have all the answers i don't know everything but i'm grateful to be in a group of uh, women who i know i can glean from Mm -hmm. and work with and also support as well in their own journeys. Yes, ma'am. I love that word glean. <laughs> that word makes me happy. So what would you tell someone who's maybe just right there, you know, kind of on the, you know, might've been watching and kind of on the outskirts about why they might want to take a step forward towards the mastermind, a mini mind, some sort of action step. What would you tell them? What what would you say to someone about stepping forward? Well, um, I would just tell them the world is going to miss out on what you have to offer. Mm. Don't take a step of faith. And, and it's truthfully that the world is going to miss out on that, as well as you are going to miss out on discovering um, a different way that God can bless you and use you or, you know, to bless someone else. You know, our lives need to matter and count. And we can sit in the guidelines and sit with a paper and pencil for hours and plan and do nothing or push ourselves and join a group and give it a shot and try it. Um, I know you offer many different uh, scenarios and programs to try out. I tried out something small and I immediately fell in love, and which is why I took the jump and joined. So I encourage you to take the jump and join as well. Yeah, take the jump and join. Take the jump and join. Well, thank you so much. So for those listening, uh, Ruth's website, Ruth and her husband, Sam, their website is Emerge Counseling Solutions. EmergeCoachingSolutions.com. Yes, Emerge Coaching <laughs> Solutions. I knew that. I know that. <laughs> and so for if you're thinking about joining the mastermind, uh, come take a look with us at DianeCunningham.com slash mastermind. There's a simple application there and we have loads of fun. Uh, and it is really about choosing to be brave. It's about choosing to step up and go forward in spite of, and, and honestly, that my, in, the in spite ofs are really why people come towards us. It's, they want to see our real stuff. They want to be a part of, right? So, um, come join us over there at dianecunningham.com slash mastermind. And, uh, we will see you there. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.